Okay, so as another example, um, we have nuclear, which is problem 18-4. A neutron of mass m and of speed uh, uh of mass m n and speed v n undergoes a head on elastic collision with some carbon nucleus of mass m c that is initially at rest. So basically, I have a collision problem involving um, a neutron and a carbon atom. Um, the, the question is first, what are the final velocities of the both of both particles? And then second, what fraction f of its kinetic initial kinetic energy does the neutron lo neutron lose? So, okay, so um, maybe I'll be giving you a minute to solve this problem, right? <laughs> and I'll show you the solution after. Okay. Okay, so two minutes have elapsed. Let's solve this problem. So uh, we have again a neutron of mass m and of speed b n undergoing that an elastic collision with a carbon nucleus. So, uh, um, so the given quantities here are m a, the by m a m b. Then you have um, m a equals m n, and then um, the initial velocity v a equals what? And again, this is given. This is v n. What about m the mass of um, of course, MB is, let's say, the carbon, so just write it as MC. Medyo we're doing expression, pero um, MC here means the mass of the carbon. What is the velocity of the carbon initially? What is the velocity of the carbon initially? Ano siya? Ano lang yan? Ha? Zero. Zero, because it is at rest uh, in, our, in our reference frame, this is zero. Okay? Now, um, this is an elastic collision. Therefore, the equation that we obtained earlier can be used. Okay, so uh, again, the equations that we have for an elastic collision, for a for a head-on elastic collision, we again have uh, V A prime equals M D minus M D all over M D plus M D times velocity, initial velocity of the first particle, plus two times mass of the second particle all over MA plus MB multiplied by the, the velocity of the second particle. And also, um, VB prime, the final velocity of the second particle is just unahin mo to, pero instead of MB, you have MA, two MA, quantity MA plus MB, um, VA plus, ito, pero balik tayo yung size. So you have MB, minus MA all over MB plus MA multiplied by VB. Okay, clear ba tayo dito? So these equations are, uh, are again true for any elastic collision problem if you want to determine the final velocities. Okay, medyo kailangan mo ng konting uh, magic dyan kung gusto mong hanapin yung mga initial velocities. So medyo magpapalit-palit ang signs yan, for example. Okay, now... Of course, you can just manipulate it and solve for VA and VB. Pwede naman yun, di ba? But again, ang importante dito, at least meron na tayong equations na gagamitin na lang natin. So um, now, we know that VB equals zero. Therefore, what can, um, therefore uh, since VB equals zero, we, da, we now have what? We just now have the following. So we have VA prime. So um, instead of writing VA, I'll just write VN prime is equal to what? I have an M, N minus mc, I'll just substitute, sinasubstitute ko na yung variables ha, mn minus mc, all over mn plus mc, times vn, and then um, vb prime equals what? Twice ni mc all over mn plus mc, multiplied by vn. And dito na yung sagot nung final velocities. Di ba? Walang kahirap-hirap, substitute lang tayo. Ayan na yung magiging final velocities. Now let's uh, analyze these two final velocities. Okay. Now, what is um, if uh, assuming that the neutron initial is going to the right, uh, this is the neutron and this is the carbon atom, which is at rest. Uh, what can we say about the direction of the neutron after the collision? Ano dapat yung direction niya? To the right or to the left? So, kasi nagbanggaan sila na elastic collision. What can we say about that? Um, the velocity of the neutron after the collision. Ano dapat mangyayari? To the left. Yes, it should be to the left, right? Because the collide so therefore it should rebound. Magre-rebound dapat yan. And the carbon atom should, should move with a relatively slow speed. Low, slower speed. Kasi nga dependent siya sa, sa mass ng object. Oh, um, wait. I think I have a mistake here. This should be 2mm. 2mm. Sorry for that. Okay? 2mm. It should be mass of the neutron, not mass of the carbon. Dapat kasi maliit lang yung maging mass niya. Okay, now going back to these equations here, 
I'm sorry for that. But going back to these equations here, what can we say about uh, um, about the sign of V n prime here? Is this positive or negative? Which is heavier, the mass uh, neutron or the carbon atom? The carbon. Of, obviously, it's the carbon atom. Therefore, what can we say about the difference in the masses of the two? What is m n minus m c? Is it positive or negative? But Negative. negative. It is negative, right? Now. Therefore, this is less than zero. And hence, we are consistent with what we analyzed uh, in our analysis. That if Vn is positive, when, when we expect that Vn prime is negative, and also obviously this is positive. In that case, the um, velocity of carbon, sorry, the velocity of the carbon atom um, is positive. So, like, apart ng some kinetic energy, yung neutron dun sa carbon. So, ganun yung nangyari. Hence, um, tama yung maging analysis natin based on what we expect um, from, from, the, um, from the situation or from the, um, from the system. Okay? Clear ba yun? Is this clear? Yes. yes. Now, um, the second one is what is the, um, what is the energy loss? Or what is the, ano yung tinatanong? Ang tinatanong ay, what is the, um, Energy loss, the kinetic energy. Ay, a kinergy. <laughs> kinetic energy at kinergy. Kinetic energy um, lost by the neutron. So, in this problem, you have, again, of course, may, lo may loss in kinetic energy. Yan. Um, ngayon, Sana punta yung kinetic energy, yung important ito lang. Remember, our collision is elastic. Therefore, um, what can we expect from the energy lost um, by the neutron? Saan siya napunta? Saan, siya lang, siya, saan lang siya dapat mapunta? Siyempre, kung nalus siya ng L neutron, since elastic yung collision, there is no energy dissipated by friction. What is lost by the, elect by the neutron should be gained by the carbon atom. Therefore, the energy lost by the neutron is equal to the energy gained by the, uh, 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 the in that is the magnitude of the energy lost, or I should write this as Ke, lost by neutron is equal to the magnitude of the Ke gained by the electron, by the carbon. Okay? So therefore, in impart lang, ng neutron, kinetic energy niya kay carbon atom. And then the fraction, thus, is just equal to the, in the final um, kinetic energy of the carbon. So this should be a prime divided by the initial kinetic energy of the neutron. Um, this should be MC, BC, and this is MN, BN squared. So the, M, the one of will cancel. And we already have an expression for VC prime. So this is simply Mc over Mn um, multiplied by twice Mn all over Mn plus Mc quant um, times Vn quantity squared divided by Vn squared. So the Vn will cancel, and hence um, it's independent of the velocity of the of the initial velocity of the neutron, which is interesting. And the Mn here, this is a square in Mn, um, uh, and from there, ang lalabas sa kanya ay, um, ang lalabas sa kanya ay, uh, thus, the fraction is simply um, equals um, 4 mn mc all over the quantity mn plus mc quantity squared. So this is the fraction um, of the energy that is lost by the neutron and therefore gained by the uh, carbon atom. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba rito? May tanong? Walang tanong? Wala? No, sir. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 